Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 14 has only been out to the public since September, but all of us that use the betas or developer versions or public betas, we've had iOS 14 since June. And so six months from now, we should see iOS 15. And so I wanted to go over the top 10 changes I would like to see with iOS 15 or my iOS 15 wish list. I did the exact same thing this time last year. And so I wanted to go over what we should hopefully expect at least some of what I would hope to expect with this next version. Now, last year we wanted widgets and a few different changes. Apple changed a couple things such as the phone dialer or the phone calls. When they ring in, they pop down in the top now and they don't take up the whole screen. So they did hear some of this and changed some of it. And a lot of us have been happy about that. But with iOS 15, the first thing I'd like to see is extended support for legacy devices or older devices, such as the iPhone 6s and 6s plus the current understanding is that iOS 15 may not support these devices. And while that would be completely acceptable as far as their age, it would be great to get another year of use out of them for those that still use these phones and love them because of their headphone jack. So it would be great to see this use extended for the people that have these phones that would carry over to the iPhone SE as well. I'd love to see support for that. So hopefully we'll see support for all of these phones while I'm a little bit doubtful with that. That's something I would like to see. Now, the next thing is I would like a slight redesign with the icons, meaning we've had these icons for many years since iOS seven, and they just keep refining them. We kind of went back to the iOS seven style music icon. I would like to see some new icons and a slight redesign may, maybe neomorphism, which is basically sort of skewmorphism combined with this sort of flat design, maybe with a little bit more depth. We've seen some of this in some of the icons with Mac OS Big Sur, for example, and I would love to see that sort of icon style come over to iOS. At first they were a little bit different, but I got used to them and I really like them. So I would love to see that store, that sort of icon style with iOS 15. And I would hope they'll do something to make it more consistent across iOS, iPad OS, TV OS and Mac OS. So hopefully we'll see something like that. The next thing is I would like to be able to place these icons wherever I'd like. So meaning maybe I want an icon down here. I want to be able to place it down there without it snapping left to right, top to bottom. And this is something they could easily do. I think they just have never enabled it. And I would love to see that as an option, put them wherever I want. If I want one in the middle, I should be able to put one in the middle along with the widgets and everything else. I would love to see that sort of thing pop up in this particular version. Now, the next thing I'd like to see is interactive in real time widgets. Currently widgets are sort of stagnant. You can't do much with them. The music widget, you basically tap on the widget tap on an album, it will go to the album, but that's all it does. You can't interact with it. You can't really do a whole lot. And I would like to see that updated, meaning these would be more real time as well. So currently right now, if you're a developer, you set the amount of time that you want between the update intervals. So basically when it's checking for weather, it could be every 30 minutes. It could be every 30 seconds. It just depends on what the developer chooses. And that's to conserve battery life and make sure your battery is extended throughout the day. But if it was real time, it would be more useful. Maybe a clock that's real time, like Apple's clock, or maybe interactive music and everything else. I would love to see widgets be updated to support more of this. So I think we'll see more of that in the future. I think it was only a beginning with the widgets, but also I'd like to be able to resize them. So basically instead of having to press and hold, and then you can edit weather or you can edit the stack but you can't really resize it here without going over to your widgets, then maybe pressing and holding and resizing them that way. So if we want to add one, we could scroll down to our widgets, select the different sizes, and then we could add them. There's no way to actually add them quickly to the home screen and then resize them once they're here. I'd like to see them update those as well. The next thing I'd like to see is the ability to customize or hide the dock. You can do this on Mac OS. There's a dock. It's sort of consistent across all iOS and Apple devices at this point. And the dock, some people want it more transparent. Some people want it to be soft. Solid. Some people don't want it there at all. And I would love the ability to be able to customize this, add different icons, maybe 
10 icons if you really wanted small ones, things like that, whatever you want. I'd like the ability to highly customize the dock, change transparency, maybe change the wallpaper on it as well. And so I think a lot of people would appreciate that. I've heard that as something people mention a lot and also this gap that's here as well. So this gap would be very welcome to be able to change the size of it and just customize the whole thing a little bit more. And I think we are leaning closer to that, but right now we don't have that ability. The next thing I'd like to see is an always on display. This is something that Android has where the display can be off and then show you the actual time and your notifications. So when the display is off, similar to Android here, you'll see we have the time and we have the date and any notifications we have in our battery level. I would love to see this brought over to iPhone. And I know a lot of people could say, well, it sounds like you just want Android, but I don't want Android. I want iOS, the security of iOS, the overall functionality, but I just want some of those features brought to here as well. So I think it would be really nice to see that always on display. And I know a lot of people would appreciate it. And that leads me to the next thing is split view on the iPad. We can split the apps from top to bottom or from side to side on an iPad, depending on the orientation of it on an iPhone. You currently can't do that. I would like the ability to open music, for example, then maybe swipe up, bring in another app and put it here locked in place. Maybe YouTube locked in place, have it at the top then have something else at the bottom, maybe notes while I'm going through that. I know a lot of people would appreciate that. It works great on the iPad. I would love to see it brought over to the iPhone and they definitely could do it since iOS and iPad OS are very similar. So that code should be in here. Although the display sizes are different, I think they could do it. And I don't think it would be too much to ask, especially on a larger display like this. And also to go along with that, I'd like to see landscape brought back to the iPhone as well. It's something we had on the iPhone eight, you could use the home screen on landscape or in landscape. Now you can't do that. And I'd love to see that brought back to iOS with iOS 15. The next thing is I'd like the ability to change the app list. A lot of people have been asking for this, remove the app list. If I don't want it here, I know it's convenient. Personally, I like it a lot where you can go through all your apps, but I would like the ability to hide it and maybe bring it in with a gesture instead of having it as a separate page. So for those that don't want it, just give us the option to actually change it. So it's not there. So that's something I think a lot of people would welcome as well. And then also this year, Apple added a lot of ability to change defaults as far as mail and browser, but I'd like to see more of that added, whether that be more for music or maybe even maps or Siri. So maybe you want to use Google assistant instead of Siri or Alexa or one of those. I think it would be really nice to have that ability to change your, your voice assistant. Personally, I like the security of Siri and the way it works, but I know a lot of people don't and it would work better in certain areas if you have different things connected to it, such as accessories. So that would really help as well. And then finally, I'd like to see better control of storage. If you go into settings and then general, and then go to iPhone storage, one of the huge questions I get asked is, well, we'll wait for it to load here. You can see my usage. And if we go all the way to the bottom, we have system, Let's go back to the bottom again. And then we have other, there is no way to really do anything with other or see what's in there. I would like a little bit more granularity where we can see what's in here and maybe customize or change this a little bit more. We know system is the operating system. So that's 7.15 gigabytes on my 12 pro max, but other, well, it just changed. So it went way down, but this changes all the time. And I think people would really appreciate to know what's in here so that we can have a little bit more understanding of what's there all the time since it does change a lot. So I would love to see that. And then as a little bonus, something that I've wanted Apple to change for quite some time is if we go into settings and then we go down to battery under battery health, this is probably something I get asked about every single day. How can I make sure my battery capacity doesn't drop? Well, unfortunately, until someone invents a better battery, all battery capacities drop over time. However, Apple could give some tips here. And also I think it would be better like they do on the Mac where it just says that it's good or bad, or it's time to change your battery or it's getting close. I think with a percentage it going down one or two or 3% really concerns a lot of people. And I would like to see them change this just to sort of maybe a stoplight system, sort of like you have on the top corner of a Mac where you have red, yellow, and green, just like a stoplight where, you know, it's good, or we're getting close to changing it. And now you need to change it. So I think that would be a little bit better. Better. 
they've added optimized battery charging and maybe some tips to keep your battery good over time would be helpful for a lot of users. So I think that would be something that would be much welcomed by a lot of people. So that's my top 10 for iOS 15. What would you change or what would you like to see updated? I really think Apple's come a long way, allowing us to use widgets and customize more, but I think they can go even further with this and there could be a huge redesign coming. We don't know. They haven't redesigned it in a long time, but I think there'll be some minor changes this year, but either way, of course, we all want stability and that's something that I would expect every year, hopefully to get better over time. Given Apple's track record with iOS 13, we can expect iOS 15 maybe not to be as stable. It seems every other year they get better and worse, so we'll have to wait and see. But hopefully it gets better and we have a more stable operating system with some great updates. But let me know what your number one feature is in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already, though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.